Well, what's up, lords and ladies of Westeros? We've got some new footage from House of the Dragon, the upcoming Game of Thrones prequel series that I am absolutely stoked for. This is probably my most anticipated show the remainder of the year. On top of anything Star Wars related, Brings of Power, on top of anything, Marvel, DC, doesn't matter. I am so excited to go back to Westeros with this series, House of the Dragon. So, we've got new footage. I don't think it's like a teaser or official trailer or anything like that. I think it's like behind the scenes kind of stuff. We'll see. I think this came out a couple of days ago, but I wanted to definitely get a reaction into it because I'm just excited for anything and everything with this show. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this thing out together. I'll react to it as we go and share some additional thoughts after the fact. Let's do this. I feel incredibly loyal and responsible to the original show. Greatest shot ever. Greatest shot ever in TV history right I there. a great kind of desire to even be in the same room as that show because it was a game changer. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. George and his writing was a huge influence on me. It's an incredible feeling to achieve my dream job. You get that great call, which is the thing that every writer is hoping for, telling you we're going to go make this thing. And uh, you're happy for a few seconds. Looks and good. then you realize the responsibility that's on your shoulders. That looks good. They sound good, too. Everything they're saying sounds good. I'm excited. It's always a little apprehensive when you turn your baby over to foster parents but I'm involved in this. It's good news. It's great to have Ryan, who's a great writer and someone who really knew my world. He's going to do his best to remain faithful to it. I knew Miguel Sapatrick was an amazing director. He'd won an Emmy. He'd done some of our best episodes. There's always a little suspense to how good is it going to be. But I think I'm in good hands with Ryan and Miguel. The idea of going back to Westeros the was music. almost too much of a challenge. You have to start by respecting it. You can't start by doing different for different sake. That's a good quote. That's a great quote. He saw some of the things that I saw, and it wasn't just a prequel for prequel's sake. There was actually a reason to tell the story. It really was seeing it through a different perspective that interested me. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch and see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. George's work really is a truly immersive world. There's unexplored deep recesses and Man. thousands of years of history. This thing's hitting me harder than I thought it was what going to. Thrones, what, didn't, what do we want to better? How do we want to evolve? It's another great quote. The biggest sets I've ever been on, the biggest locations I've ever been on, the biggest crews I've ever seen, it's staggering. We do really see the creative world very similarly. We're gonna start just a more grounded, more intimate way. We're gonna go off and go on this great adventure together. What a great new chapter and Game of Thrones saga. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You've said enough. That honestly might be my most favorite, I guess, promotional material that they've put out so far. I mean, are you kidding me? Everything that they're saying sounds absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's very nice to see that George R. R. Martin is involved. He's kind of given the seal of approval, if you will. It's also nice to hear them acknowledge maybe some mistakes that the Game of Thrones series made, and they're they're learning from those. Uh, that's great. It's always great as creators to learn from mistakes and adapt and do what's best. It seems like they're trying to get back to the feels of the early seasons of Game of Thrones when he says something about being grounded, things like that. That's fantastic. 
And then also I really enjoyed the quote of them saying we couldn't do different for different sake. And then I love this shot in the trailer where it actually shows them shooting people just going at each other. This is promising. This has me pumped. It has me pumped. I was already pretty pumped. But like I said, that might be my favorite promotional material yet. The music, the genuine care, the love, everything sounds, looks fantastic. I don't really have anything else to add. I'm I'm honestly just thrilled with what I just heard, with what I just saw. So tell you what, those of you that um, that it, are excited for this series, let me know what you thought of this promotional material kind of thing in the comments. If this doesn't work for you, if you're not excited for this series, let me know why in the comments as well. And uh, hey, I'm just looking forward to covering this series, House of the Dragon, here on this channel. So if you want more content like this, uh, my personal opinions, discussion, breakdowns, reactions, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to keep it coming because, like I said, I am pumped for this thing. I'm just pumped to watch it. I'm pumped to watch it, and then I'm blessed to have the opportunity to just react to it and discuss to it uh, with you guys. Uh, so, yeah, again, <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait. I, I have nothing else to say. Um, until next time, you know, uh, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Wherever you're at, uh, just just enjoy life and, and enjoy life as we quickly approach House of the Dragon. All right. Until next time, peace.